Georgia, Georgia. I do not own the rights to any of the music in this video. Enjoy. Just an old sweet song keeps Georgia on my mind. Y'all stay tuned. Georgia. What's up, family? Welcome back to Solomon's Vineyard. It's your brother, Russell Mack. And today we're here to talk about my scent of the night. I want to preview it now, y'all. I just showed you the other day in package day. Madden Syrup, Perry Montel, a 2016 release, and we're going to talk about it, y'all. Yeah. Y'all hear, hear what I'm playing? Listen. Roger Troutman, baby. Yeah. Let me turn this down so we can go and get the preview. Listen. Hope you guys enjoyed the little light show. Something just a little bit different. Uh, let me get a little housekeeping out the way. First of all, I want to congratulate my brother Fat Boy Reviews. Um, tonight, may, he made his one year anniversary. Just came off the live stream. We had a good time. He got all the way up to right at 40, I believe. Maybe 40 or more. And I'm really, really proud of him. He's done a great job over this uh, year's time. He's accomplished a whole lot. So God bless you, my brother. Much success. And uh, I can't see nothing but greatness in your future. So I had to shout out my brother. Frag love is what we call it. You feel me? Also, if you're new to the channel, this is your first time tapping with the thumbnail. You found your boy, Russell Mack, the OG. Listen, y'all, we are four shot of 300 subs. Three, four short. We at, we at 296. Yes, we are. Go on, push your, boys, your boy over his mark. Come on and do it for me. Come on here. Thank you guys for spending some time with me. Uh, at, at the end of the day, I really appreciate it. I love doing these uh, previews at uh, in the evening. Uh, I don't know what it is. I just I'm just the evening time man, the golden time of day. I love it. Um, so if you're new to the channel, you know what to do. Hit the subscription button, thumb up the video, hit the bell icon, comment your thread. Comment in, uh, in the thread below. Can you do that for your boy? Thank you so much. Shout out to all of my Frag family. Those of you who are new, who have just subscribed over the last couple of days. Those of you who are still on the way. Those of you who are still stopping and peeking in. And you're curious. What you waiting on? Come on into the vineyard. Be a part of a channel that's growing. Be a part of a channel that the Lord is blessing. Come on here now. Oh, man. So listen, let's get into this review. Thank you all again for stopping by the vineyard. I'm really proud. I'm really happy, guys. Y'all just don't know what you do to me. When when I see what I've seen over the last couple of days, it's been mind-blowing. And you know what? I never expected this. I ain't never expect 100 subscribers, much less 300. I really didn't. I honestly didn't, guys. But something just keeps telling me to stick in. Don't quit, don't give up, and I'm not. I ain't gonna do it, you dig? So let's get into the review, guys. Turn it down just a little bit for your boy to live. We're gonna get it our fragrance, guys. Y'all remember the package day, the search off I got? We'll talk about that one on a later day. This one here, though, Coco Vanilla. This is the one I won from my brother, Tyrone, over at Bro Sense. And I thought, why not go on and preview it? Because I did wear it on yesterday, and I wore it a little bit today. Uh, as I said, 2016 release. Been around now about four, five years, okay? So, it's been out not too, too long, okay? So, it's still fairly new. This is a beautiful fragrance, guys. It's classified as an amber vanillic fragrance, okay? Now, me, y'all know I switches up the old, old factor profiles in these frags, and I'm going to call it... A, an, an amber woody fragrance because 
We got a lot of woody notes in the uh, bass. Let's start at the bass. How about that? The notes going to be on the screen. You already know who the nose is behind this fragrance. The mad scientist, Pierre Montel. This guy comes up with some of the best uh, combinations of notes, especially gourmands. And this is slightly gourmand. Uh, but the bass is some woody notes with musk, okay? Had some Madagascar and vanilla, which is more beautiful. It's even, it smells even more natural. So that's your base, right? In the, in the mid, though, your heart. Ah, that's what the love ladies in the heart. You got Jasmine, you Lang your Lang, okay? And Tahir flower, which gives it some cream, okay? It, it, make, it gives it a creamy heart along with that beautiful Jasmine note. Now at the top, you got a white peach. Oh, white peach uh, with some coconut. Now, some people don't like coconut because of the uh, suntan lotion smell it gives off. But that's not what you get here. All right. This thing is a room filler. And let me just go and tell you on my own story. It's, it's a room filler. It lasts all day. Okay. The CRs is incredible. Uh, a beautiful scent cloud will surround you. People will love the way you smell. And this is nothing, nothing off-putting about it. This is one I feel needs more hype, more love, and more talk. You see your standard Mancera bottle. You already saw the bag that covers it. The caps are heavy. The bottles are heavy. And the juice is damn sure heavy. Okay. So you know, on the, in the opening, you get that coconut note. Now, if this was just a coconut note, it would fall flat. I probably wouldn't like it. But you got this gorgeous peach note. You got this gorgeous, bright, juicy peach uh, note in the blending with that coconut note. So that's what you're getting. Man, so you got fruity along with, with, with the, the creaminess of the coconut, okay? This sticks around for an hour, hour and a half before you even smell any of the heart notes. Now, when you get to the heart, that's when you get this Thai ear flower along with Ylang Ylang. And the Ylang Ylang is kind of spicy, uh, but it, it gives the fragrance and the heart more body. It gives it maturity. It rounds out the fragrance because you get that jasmine note along with the Ylang Ylang. The, 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 the jasmine is not overdone, so it's not an overly floral fragrance. Now, it is a unisex fragrance, but I, I would say that this is more of a mass appealing fragrance. It's not as challenging as you may think. Women could rock it or men could rock it, um, but I would say mass appealing. This is a mass appealing fragrance. Uh, it's not overly challenging. This is something you can definitely rock fall, spring, and the winter. Wow. And what you mainly get, guys, is that beautiful jasmine and ylang lang in the heart. Then the vanilla, musk, and woody notes take over in the dry down. Uh, I got five to six hours of great performance before I even before I even turn to a skin scent. I got five to six hours. Around seventh hour it, it got it, it got closer to the skin. It, but although it still was uh projected about feet and a half, still people can smell you. Uh scent cloud, scent bubble, scent trail. Awesome. People that smell this will definitely ask you what you rock it, okay? But then the Madagascar and vanilla. It, it, this thing drives down creamy and oh so woody. With a hint and, a, and just a hint of musk. When I tell you this is sexy, alluring, and definitely intoxicating, you don't want to sleep on cocoa vanilla by Maddie Sir. I, I, at first I thought it was a chocolate fragrance. I did. I thought it would have a chocolate vibe. But cocoa gets its name from the coconut. Okay. So nothing chocolatey about it. This is all ambery, all vanilla, musky, woody, grown, sexy, intoxicating, alluring. It's all of that in this bottle. I damn, I almost want to get this a perfect team. Okay, um, it's a it's a, a, a fragrance that that's uh, definitely will make you confident, make you feel confident. Uh, it's a happy fragrance. When I wear this. Fragrance. I'm, it, it makes me happy. It boosts my spirit. It lifts my spirit. It lifts my head. And any fragrances, most fragrances I wear make me feel good. Uh, the warm, 
spicy, inviting. It, it's, it's lovely, lovely fragrance. Cocoa Vanilla is a lovely name. Not overly feminine, not overly masculine. It sits right in the sweet spot. So I think everybody will enjoy this. Now, the age group, I would say 30 and up. If you're 30 and up, you can wear this. But if, you are, if you're a mature young man or a young woman, you can definitely rock this fragrance. This is a fun fragrance. Although you can dress it up, you can wear it casually, you can wear it to work. I, I still say it has a certain fun quality about it. Yes, it's a mature fragrance. It has a little complexity to it. That's Mancero. That's, that's, that's Pierre Montez, what he do, the mad genius. But I still say it's still fun. It, it, and it creates memories, okay? I, I, I have definitely had some memories with this fragrance on yesterday. I kept getting compliments from my girl and other people. And I smelled it all day. I smelled so good yesterday, guys, last night when I got ready to lay down. I didn't even want to take off the shirt I was wearing. Still smelling this fragrance. So be careful with the sprays. It's very strong. It lasts long. It does what it's supposed to do. I love this fragrance. Thank you, Tyrone. Uh, thank you, uh, Fat Boy. Uh, I, I'm, I'm really pleased with what with what I have. I love Mancera. Y'all know that. It's one of my favorite houses, one of my favorite niche houses. So if you have not tried Mancera, you need to try Mancera. Great place to start right here, guys. It's about to get cold. You're going to want some nice, vanilla, ambery, woody, musky frag like this. Great place to start. All right? So thank you all so much. Thank you all for bringing me this far. It wouldn't be no me without you. And we're so close. Won't y'all give me that? Listen, I'm getting out of here, y'all. I love you so much. God bless you all for what you've done for me down through the year. This, this year, maybe two years, I've been in the game. Okay? I'm Russell Mack signing out. This is Solomon Vineyard. God bless y'all. Peace. All right, all right, all right.